How's it looking? Okay. It's okay. It's a good game. Hi. Hey. So Mr. Dirt good? decided to go cue ball on me. Not my favorite look for him. Oh, my favorite look for the summer. Tell him. Um, we were going to talk about uh, what's happened in the last few weeks. We haven't really done any very good videos lately, so... Um, or any, in my case. You want to talk about your project? Mm, I don't know. Hopefully videos will pop up eventually. The door got framed in on the summer kitchen. The... Stairs, the main braces were built, and then we just need to put the walls up. So hopefully tomorrow I will have the rest of that done, and everything will be good. Do you want me to talk about my idea, or should I just let it pop up on the channel too? Okay, you? something that's coming up on on my channel later on. Um, I noticed when Dirt Patch did her "How I Carry" video, it actually sparked a little contention with one or two people who aren't necessarily fans of. Um, firearms in the second amendment and so what i was i'm going to do on my channel um is start way back at the very beginning on the foundation of why this is important for what i believe for each and every person why it's uh, important for us in in our homestead and um hopefully uh in a very cranial factual way explain why Firearms or, or any arms and the right to protect yourself is not a bad thing Because um, it's hard to defend yourself with your feet. Yes, it is even in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They say get away, so Okay um, We stopped using our wood-burning stove for now. It's still pretty chilly at night, but um, We don't want to have to clean our stove again and we need to clean it if we're gonna burn more with it So we are just using our electric heat for now um, we feel so horrible and guilty about it, and we're, we're just back on the grill. No, <laughs> we, we, we miss I want to die! Okay. We love <laughs> our wood stove, and we wish we could use it right now, but... Um, we would bake and boil alive all night long, even on the s smallest setting that that would have. Yeah. Um, what else has happened? We have one chick that's living in our house right now because... It's a little companion died, so it's in the house. You can probably hear it in the background. Everything in... No, that's the children. The chick. No, yes. the chick. Okay. You can hear the, hear the children, too. We've got everything that was in the window planted out. It's not... to Using the window as a greenhouse works better in the winter than it does in the summer because you have the sun low on the horizon in the winter, and so it comes straight in the window. In the summer, because it's high, it it kind of bounces and then comes in the window so the sun is not nearly as good in the summer as it is in the early spring and late winter. So everything like that is planted out. Um, we have the watering down pat right now. It looks like we can water every two weeks where last year we were watering once a week and then I was also going out with buckets um, every day to water trees and stuff. So the front is being flooded uh, let's see, everything in mulch isn't needing to be, so we're hoping that everything survives and does really well. Mr. Dirt has taken over all of the flood irrigation and I'm handling what has to be done with hoses because it doesn't require a lot of heavy lifting of stuff and setting dams. He, so he's the one setting the dams doing the heavier things and I'm, I just have, a, have to be able to do a pull start on our trash pump. Um, we had a rabbit escape. And we were going to butcher her, but now we can't find her. So our neighbors have permission to butcher her <laughs> if they see her. And um, what else? Um, Cloud pig is oh, gone as we, of today. Yeah, we butchered the last pig today. And we're going to trade her to uh, one of our really close friends who raises um, Murray Gray cows. And so we're going to trade her for beef. Um, she cost us 60 well, we didn't actually pay for her. Let's see, a friend of mine needed tarps, and we had access to tarps. So we traded tarps to her for the pig, so we didn't actually spend money on the pig. And then instead of buying feed for her, we used uh, old soybeans and corn and other stuff that we had in food storage that uh, wouldn't wasn't sproutable, wasn't necessarily good food. So we used that to feed her. So we actually are out no money on this pig so far. Um, the only money we'll be spending is the butcher fee. Um... And I'm excited. I'm going to take her pen and I'm going to turn it into a sunflower 
squash patch and see how it does. And I'm, I am going to keep a lot of water on it because I want to make sure the voles don't move back in. They completely vacated the area where she was because she was digging into their tunnels and eating their tunnels and eating them. So she did a really great service there because it was just a horrible little village of voles. So again, Michelle is getting the pig and we're getting an exchange beef because we don't raise beef. We haven't raised beef for two years, correct? Or has it just been a year? No, it's been two. Is it? Second summer. Although we still have some beef left from the last cow we butchered, even though he was really small. Um, but because we have so many other animals that we eat. Um, well, plus it's that's not... Uh, pork is a much more efficient animal to raise for um, meat and chickens after that. Kaya, stop spitting. Girls, go get your jammies on and right I, now. And actually, beef would be at the very bottom of the list as far as efficiency because it just takes so long and so much food to actually raise. Them. Two years. Yeah. If you want a good quality beef, it's tons, two years. Literally tons of feet go into an animal. And so, you know, one of the reasons why it's five, six, seven, eight, ten dollars a pound in beef right now is, I mean, these are, it's a lot of feed. So. Um... What else do we have done? We have berries on everything. We have the Nankin cherries. We have um, the honey berries. We have rose hips. Uh, Saskatoons. Trees are doing amazing. Apples on the apple trees. Pears on the pear trees. Peaches on the peach trees. Pear. Let's see what it plums. Um, cherries. Grass in the poison pasture. Grass in the poison pasture. We have horseradish coming up volunteer right now. In places that I planted it a few years ago. Garlic. 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 We've got amazing garlic. The voles don't like the garlic, so they have survived. They grow well. Mm -hmm. um, strawberries intermixed with the garlic is doing also mm -hmm. very well. The strawberries are good. Raspberries kicked off. Mm -hmm. uh, the um, crab apple tree is doing well. Did you want to tell them what you were doing with the greenhouse now, but the hotbeds? Oh, I out. planted a, uh, six weeks ago, I planted out potatoes in the greenhouse just in the ground because I, I just thought well let's see what happens they've come up really well we also have volunteer potatoes out in the roundabout that were planted they were from last year and they've come up volunteer um and i've got some tomatoes planted out in the greenhouse right now too what else oh and we went and we fenced in today while we were watering we fenced in with electric fencing the the poison pasture so i'm going to put the sheep out there and jumpers on a tether so that she has to eat everything in the circle while the babies are allowed to kind of wander and i'm going to position her in each spot until everything's down to the level it needs to be and has been fertilized you can definitely tell where she hasn't been grazing the last two years because it is not green you can tell where she grazed heavily last year because it's really nice rich green and where she didn't graze this last year or the year before that because she couldn't reach on her rope those are the spots that are still yellow and really sparse. Girls! Um, what were they saying? Oh, so we have a solar electric fencer, and what we did is we put up, um, uh, fully enclosed the poison pasture and just moved the fencer instead of having to buy, instead of having to have two fencers, we just took it and moved it and hopefully it makes a huge difference um and i think i'm really hoping by the end of the summer we're down to at least at least watering every two weeks it would be really nice if it was if it was further apart than that i don't know how that's going to turn out so what are our goals for next this the rest of the summer so for the rest of the summer we have planted all the trees that need to be planted um the goal is to be able to get at least every two weeks watering instead of every week so and have everything have survive that goal, but we'll see we'll, we'll make sure well we've gotten to every two weeks in the back but right now we're at once a week in right. the front right and and not to be exhausted mm, pretty much yeah. that is the big goal is not to be burning. exhausted to do things with really good timing so that it runs smoothly and um oh i should have some wood cutting videos now that Good temperatures are here too. So, um, get back into doing school. Where I'm feeling better now. I'm not feeling as sick, and so um, 
hopefully we'll be picking back up on school and having things run smoother and all the chores in the house going better and the chores in the outside and and just to have everything not be so so such a drain um anything else right. we're we're trading eggs and milk for hay hay right now in our area is two hundred dollars a ton and we go through one bale a week right now with the goats being in their small pen uh, we can't have them out right now because it needs to be fenced better to keep them out from some of our existing trees so right now they're just penned up and they're on hay so they're going through a hay uh, a bale of hay a week and um our kind friend uh she has leftover hay she has excellent hay and so we're just trading eggs and milk because we have way more than we need even though we only have 10 laying hens right now um and we only are milking two goats but we still have so much extra that it's supplying two families with milk and eggs right now and all of us eat <laughs> heavy amounts of those things yeah. honey i think you need to go blow your nose because you're sounding kind of snotty uh, you got your head in a sleeve <sighs> yeah i'm looking and i'm trying to figure this one out yeah you got your head yeah in i ass. think she has her head in a sleeve <laughs> <laughs> okay put your head there oh. Oh. there we go we have a head Yay! We like heads. <sighs> yeah, you're on camera. You're silly. Okay, now you need to go to bed. That was the deal. And I think she actually has it on backwards. Is the probably tag in the front or in the back? No, oh, in the back. So. Okay. Turtleneck for bed. No. Love you. Turtleneck and chain. That's a good album. I don't know what else we had to say. Then you need to hit the little blue square.